Today is burn day. So we're burning the field. This is where they piled up unwanted wood 15 years ago when they clear cut this land. Did not do it in a very environmentally friendly way. And uh, so they, when we bought the land, we ended up with these piles and piles of, of uh, rotting wood behind our cabin, where we have our cabin now. They called it the landing spot where they left all the wood that they didn't want. And it's just, wood. when we first bought the land, the wood was piled up higher than me and uh, full of snakes and so you couldn't even get back in it, you know, so it was unusable. And so this is our second burn. Last year we burned most of it and then, but it rained and stopped the, it stopped the uh, burn. And so there was still a lot of wood left. And so now we're finally, it's gotten dry enough for us to burn again. And so we're trying to get the rest of it. Cause if we can get this down to the ground where we can uh, mow it, we can control this, this field and be able to use it for a lot of different things. So that's what we're trying to do to be able to use this section of land. And I'm not complaining because uh, now all of this land up here has 15 years worth of rotted wood on top of the hard rocky clay of this area. And so you can see how fertile it is. I have an amazing garden here. Uh, so I'm very thankful for the way everything worked out and gave us this wonderful dirt. And so we just need to keep working it until we uh, fix this section of land as well and, and make it usable. There's the burn master. So the important things to remember uh, when you do these controlled burns is that you want to make sure that you have, the most important thing is to have a good burn line. So that means that all around the area that you want to burn, you cut a cut down, cut the grass very short or down to the, get it down to the ground so that um, when the fire gets to that point, it can't cross that line. And so you, that's, that's what keeps it controlled so that it stays only in the area that you want to burn. Uh, we actually went and took a class to, with a, a Missouri Conservation Department to learn how to do control burns because before we ever did one, we were terrified and this is actually only the second one that we've ever done. Uh, but the first one turned out great. Um, it worked perfectly. Uh, we're actually doing a little bit later than we wanted to do this year, but there's been so much um, rain. It's such a wet year that we weren't able to do it earlier in the year. There's actually a little bit too much green growth, which is stopping the fire and it's not spread into all the areas that we want it to burn. But uh, but that's all right, because we're still, every time we do it, we get rid of a little bit more of the unusable rotting wood so that we can use this land. Um, so the other things you want to be careful about is you want to make sure that it's not too windy because if it's windy enough, it can stoke up the fire and uh, it can put it can blow ashes over into your uh, areas you don't want to burn on the other side of the burn line. So you got to be really careful. Uh, we like to do it when um, there's rain in the forecast, like for the in the next week anyway, so that it'll put it all out. Last year when we did it. It rained too quickly, and so it didn't uh, wasn't able to burn as much as we wanted to. So we're hoping to get most of the rest of it this year. <laughs> 